I know you said that uh, it's been four years since uh, we started to have workshop <laughs> in England, I would say. And, uh, and I would very much like to have one uh, in France very soon. So uh, I will tell you about it as soon as possible. When I first sent my uh, communication title to Nathan, maybe I was a little bit presumptuous to say that we could find a Tangut uh, own medical treatment. Um, because, uh, as you will see in the, in the prescription, uh, many tra treatments could be uh, and may be uh, a genuine uh, Tangut prescri prescription, or, or maybe uh, some will say that Tangut had um, translated the prescri prescription from Chinese text. But um, I, I had worked on the medical text from Ha uh, uh, yet in the meantime, maybe you've heard about it, I didn't put the, the picture of the book with Professor Yang Song Kao, she's a, she's a member of the um, Institute of Tangled Studies from Anisha University, and she wrote a book who has published, uh, that was published uh, two years ago uh, called uh, The Medical Text from Halakoto uh, kept uh, in the Russian collection. <clears throat> but it's all, it's all in Chinese, so I'm going to give a uh, head of this uh, study uh, and my study also. Uh, so now uh, the uh, medical uh, <coughs> stuff in, uh, in Tangut is not uh, now a big mystery to me. Uh, however, it, uh, as we say in English, it, it runs in the family. Well, I guess, uh, by my father passed it on me. Um, Professor Adrian Sontra, she wrote that she, she can't certify that the Tangut medicine provided, provided in the medical fragments from Halakoto is purely Tangut or from uh, Chinese roots. However, uh, I think that the Tangut people could have made a prescriptions according to what they uh, had to experience in their society. Um, and uh, it is more convenient to think that this was possible for Tangut people uh, to have their own uh, prescription. So my communication today will be on, uh, will focus on a case study about the um, about the, uh, the document number uh, 4384 from the uh, Russian collection. So I didn't put the, uh, I didn't take the uh, original image picture from the, uh, from the catalog. Uh, I wanted to, to give it to you uh, as the, uh, my, my own creation. <laughs> However, it's not that. As you can see, uh, you have the title uh, here, the prescription. And then you've got all the elements uh, in use. So uh, you've got herbs, uh, you've got one that is from an uh, animal uh, part. And then under the, uh, under the elements, you've got the, uh, how do you say, the dosage, or the, you know, the posology for uh, this, uh, this use. Um, there were, uh, in the Tangled State, uh, there were high-ranking uh, physicians, uh, eventually uh, in, within the court of Tangled State. Uh, well, it was, there were an uh, imperial uh, physician, imperial shaman also, uh, and the physician and shaman. Um, Professor Alain Sontra and, and Shu Jinpo in uh, his uh, Shisha Shihui, uh, Shisha Shihui Shui, um, they indicate that um, there was a high level um, physician within the court of Tengut. 
uh, I didn't put it here, but uh, it was called uh, Jinchen Zuo Shi. But I'm not sure about the title because the title could be uh, a, a Chinese translation, only a tra Chinese translation. So uh, the the medical vocabulary uh, also um, happens in the uh, sea of characters, uh, where uh, Tengu use um, words to describe common disease or uh, contamination disease. Um, the Tengut also um, had uh, medical uh, treatments for uh, with uh, acupuncture needles with a uh, heat of moxa, but um, in this case study I will only focus on the uh, on the herb use uh, within the prescription. Um, also, if you check uh, into the uh, the, bibio, the bibliography of uh, Tangwood medicine, sometimes you find uh, text from uh, a very uh, recent period. But I wanted to uh, only focus, maybe I, I, I wanted to, to to find uh, sources or evidence that uh, attested this word this uh, vocabulary, but only in the sources, uh, the, the textual sources uh, within the Tangled period or earlier. That means, that means sometimes in, in Chinese, uh, the Chinese uh, interpretation of uh, Tangled medicine, you can find uh, texts from uh, the Yuan dynasty or the Ming dynasty or very recently. So perhaps it is, uh, it can testify the sources of the uh, of these elements, or maybe the prescription uh, comments, uh, and perhaps these uh, textual sources uh, they uh, have um, retake what was written before, maybe or maybe even change it. But I wanted to um, just focus on the um, <coughs> on the uh, Ontario text and uh, the text. The sources within Tango State. So, in this case, a study, I, uh, I as you as you will see in the text, um, there is um, uh, yeah. um, I, I decided. In fact, no, I didn't decide, but I found in this text uh, evidence that we can uh, attest the presence of this herb. And the use of these herbs in the in the Tangut medical text. So uh, some are very very uh, old, and uh, I'm not sure if we can uh, all uh, re rely on this text because it's. Uh, Canada not the screen. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Prescription was a thousand gold pieces on it. The, the titles in the uh, translation could be uh, perfectible also. Um, so, in the, uh, in the transcription of the text, I use uh, the initial for to stand for this uh, classic. And also uh, from the uh, decrease in loss of tension and the timely period. 
Oh yeah, it's been on this. So, sorry for the uh, transcription. I didn't know which one to use, <laughs> which one the best. So, <laughs> I apologize in advance, and you can, you can, you can tell me afterwards. Um, so, this the the title of this prescription is uh, in, in Chinese, uh, or I would say I would say in English, because Tengut could uh, interpret uh, a prescription within uh, with their own terms. So I would say I'm not going to use the pills, but I would say simply a decoction of spaganium, spaganium, which is a, an herb to uh, to uh, cure, or maybe to uh, ease some uh, gastric pain. <coughs> but this uh, this prescription can also be found in uh, these uh, five uh, texts. Uh, also, the, uh, the Tango prescription and the five uh, Chinese prescriptions uh, do not match. There is absolutely no match between the Tango prescription of uh, San Lung Jianwan and the five other uh, prescriptions. Um, <clears throat> so, as a consequence, we may have a, somehow Chinese prescription that could have uh, influenced Tengut, or maybe we have a genuine Tengut uh, prescription for uh, this kind of uh, decoction. <clears throat> so, the uh, So as you can see, uh, within the, uh, uh, the prescription, after the title, you've got every element of the prescription used, and the posology and the, the way to take them. So this is a translation, um, and there is a, somehow there is, a, there is an issue uh, uh, around this uh, unity of measures, because Liang is um, well. If you look, if you look at look at it in a modern way or a very uh, recent way, Liang is um, is not that much uh, in a very modern way. I would say but maybe it's uh, erratic to say uh, here in a modern way. But Liang would be like uh, between three and ten grams. But perhaps at the time Liang. Uh, uh, could have been uh, 30 uh, grams, and maybe uh, they wanted to use it, and maybe they needed more of this uh, plant to, to cure or to ease the pain. So, as you would see, uh, as you're about to see um, in these elements, um, there are no uh, maybe 100% uh, semantic. Uh, meaning for one, one herb, but the others are just uh, are phonetics, you know. Also, these, these terms, you, you, can find, you can find them in, uh, you know, with a, with a semantic, uh, semantic meaning uh, within the Tangled characters. But here, it's essentially um, phonetics and uh, this one, this one you can find it in the Avatam uh, Sakasutra. When you, I don't know, oh yes, probably. you can find it in, uh, in the Avatam Sakasutra when you, you talk about the samadhi, you know, the, uh, the inner uh, concentration. <coughs> then the, the second element, which is uh, Translated, um, I didn't find any English um, title in the English translation for that, but the curcuma or is a is a, it seems to be uh, very common to use the first element, the sparganium, and the curcuma or is together to, to, uh, to ease the, the strong gastric pain. <laughs> but unfortunately, here, it's um, it's all cement. It's all phonetics. Uh, there is no 
there is no way uh, to find these terms in a, in a proper uh, semantic way. <coughs> so this one, this one can be found in many, many uh, Chinese so sources, as you can see here from the uh, previous uh, list of um, classics. You can also find it in the attention uh, uh, laws in decrees, um, and there is no uh, absolutely no English translation for this. Uh, I'm very sorry. So today, today you're gonna have ten good uh, English, Latin, and uh, I didn't want to put it in French because in French it's total translation, total different <laughs> translation. <coughs> now this one here. It's also pretty, pretty common in, uh, in the Chinese prescription. Um, the question is, um, perhaps these terms were not only translated from Chinese, or maybe translated from, uh, I'm not sure of what I'm saying, but maybe from Tibetan or other cultures, you know? Because this term might be a translation from uh, vernacular um, vo vocabulary so um, right now I didn't find out any evidence to uh, to say that it, it came from it probably came from Tibetan or, or Chinese or but, uh, in further study uh, I, I hope I will be able to, to do so <coughs> so this one this ones had uh, English translation, but then, then, if you, uh, for instance, if you Googleize <laughs> these Latin terms, uh, you will uh, be directly uh, linked to uh, a Chinese medicine, traditional Chinese medicine web page. You know. But, however, the translation, especially the translation from. Tango to Chinese, or Tango to English, or Tango to Latin, or whatever translation. This are you can say from Chinese to Latin that this is the um, standard translation. But from um, the other point of view, from Tango to Latin or Tango to English, it's uh, I can't say. I, I give you this uh, this Latin term, this translation. I can't say this is a hundred percent sure. This is it, and probably we won't even be sure about the translation. But we can uh, at least try to find a way to understand uh, the original meaning of this plant, original meaning of this uh, prescription. In the, um, uh, for instance, this one, the uh, the Cassia, uh, Cassia Park, the Cortex Cinnamomi. Here you have, it perhaps, perhaps it is um, a phonetical transcription from Chinese. Because if you look into the uh, Lifama's dictionary, this one, this one exists. This one exists. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't give it to you. But uh, if you look into uh, if you look into uh, Li four two one one, Cassia exists. <coughs> and this one, this one, uh, I think it's the most um, <laughs> most commonly known uh, Hui Xiang, which is a fennel. And uh, also in Tango, it's a, it's a, it's a bit it's a half uh, phonetics and half uh, semantic. <coughs> there is another one, the following one, uh, which is transcribed as um, yeah, I wanted to <laughs> because <laughs> because this one, this one is not a, a plant. This one is a part of a young deer's home, uh, which uh, so I look into the uh, you know genetic uh, roots <laughs> of this uh, because young deer in China. Uh, uh, pretty common, but uh, this could be um, a subspecies from uh, from the uh, Cerberus nippon uh, Sutranicus, maybe or this one. 
So they did not only use the, um, the medical herbs, but also the um, a part of animals too. But this one, this one can be seen in the in the case study of this document. But Leon, Professor Leon, she stated that in others in other documents, also from the uh, Russian collection, you can find three other different writing for this uh, this plant so this is uh, uh, it's like for transliterations you uh, you can't have a proper standard writing for a word you also here you have three others but if you if you look at not this one but maybe this one then you will have a, a proper and uh, standard uh, translation for this part. So I have translated it into soft, but it would be also some, I don't, say, I don't know how to say in English, it would be buds, you know, the flower, the plant buds. I'm not quite familiar with the uh, English uh, botanic uh, vocabulary. <coughs> and so, Yeah, and so this one also, but for the many examples here, you, as you can see, it's all about uh, transcription. It's not, uh, there is no, in this example, there are no semantic uh, meaning for characters. But if you look into uh, this character, the original meaning within tangled characters, you can find, as for Kasha, uh, previously, you can find original semantic characters for this. So perhaps this prescription was uh, half based on uh, a Chinese prescription or another prescription. But anyway, anyway, you can say uh, that uh, the tangled way of uh, giving prescription is, you know, genuine because. Say also that you will never find this kind of prescription in other Chinese uh, prescription or some, some, something else. <coughs> Here, the Tangut people, they translated this one. Uh, originally, you have this one, the Zanjiberi Sufficinale, which is translated into Chinese by Ganjiang, the ginger powder. But the ginger powder, it was translated into Tangut by uh, uh, the roots of the uh, pepper, which also you can find in the uh, translation of Professor Nishidata's war uh, in the Tiny Pearl. He translated into the uh, peppery, uh, what, uh, peppery roots. <coughs> so I looked into the uh, the uh, original medical property property of uh, the pepper and the ginger. And they seem to share the same, uh, the same uh, stimulating energy uh, property. So maybe with this example, we can uh, we can think that uh, the tangled physician had already uh, a certain knowledge, and obviously they have <laughs> a certain knowledge of medical stuff, you know. So we can stop by saying that Tangut always uh, translates things from <laughs> Chinese way. And then the, the two other examples are about the uh, the the Qi, the uh, and the, the dry orange peel. So as you can see here, the unity of measures changes. It's not about as you can see here. It's not this one. It's not the uh, you, it's uh, this one. So I, for now, I, I, I don't really know why. Uh, I'm not uh, really a specialist on this, but maybe I would be. Uh, I don't know why. It um, sometimes you have this one, and uh, sometimes you have the uh, other one, the Liang. Because if you want to, uh, well, if you think. <laughs> 
as a Westerner, <laughs> and you say you, you tend to you tend to see things, you know, with uh, the grams, uh, it's, uh, it's it's too easy. So I would like to understand why uh, we uh, change for this unity of measure to the other one. And then the last one, the uh, mountain spicy tree fruit. So, um, in these examples, I wanted to uh, show uh, what was the uh, original medical way of treating. Uh, uh, I wanted to find something very particular, but I ran into this one, and this one tended to be a uh, prescription for gastric uh, disorder, which is good because we all had uh, <laughs> food <laughs> earlier, so. If it, if it can help, <coughs> but if you look into, if you want to make a comparison with Chinese prescription, uh, for instance, if you go back to the uh, original um, examples, we you you could find, uh, you know, with the same prescription. If you go back, if you go back, if you, yeah, here, if you go back here, and you look into the Chinese prescription. Uh, there would be no match with the Tangut uh, prescription. Also, in the Chinese prescription, you have the elements, and then in small characters, it says, for instance, uh, that you have to peel the fruit to uh, extract the, uh, you know, the inside, or maybe do you have to boil it, or you have to, uh, well, many many actions. But instead, in Tangut, you just have. You take one pill. You take ten grams of it. it uh, so it implies it implies that um, the ten good physician, uh, you know, look at the look at the medical prescription and already know what it is about. And I guess that only the uh, official physician could have that kind of, of, of uh, knowledge. But it is not certain. So. Uh, so, uh, so I guess uh, it is. Uh, we have more to, to, to discover about this, but uh, uh, yes, the uh, the medical uh, medical uh, content uh, would have been uh, taught, uh, would have been taught in uh, uh, education, or maybe for higher ranked officials. For education, so um, there is more to know about the medical prescription, and uh, and uh, well, if you have any question, uh, thank you. Thank you.